Hey everyone, we're here with some more Pokemon. Uh, I'm a dumbass. This is the best way of phrasing it. I'm just gonna say right up front. You might have noticed because of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards, um, a lot of episodes were messed up in audio, and I was going to release some Pokemon episodes. I was like, okay, well, the Pokemon episodes audio is messed up, but it's not that bad. We go in here today to train up Toast a bit for a video. Realize that I completely say forgot to save at the end of our last like fucking koga thing so here we are the game was harder than i did guys yeah we beat dokon off screen uh dokon was a wimp he showed up and was like uh i have four stones a day and we were like fuck you come back when it's five and so we took care of him uh and now we're gonna go fight giovanni and we're gonna fight team rocket again i'm gonna say just a big old apology for why i'm being so bad this week but look at the bright side at least i have not broken my record Never mind, apparently we beat Jesse and James. I remembered the save there. So you don't even get the Jesse and James fight. <laughs> oh, man, bingo. Let's go beat the shit out of Giovanni. Ah, Cam. So we meet again. He knows. He knows the fact that we've done this before. Didn't you already record a video? <laughs> he remembers. I feel like you already whipped my ass once, but it's fine. Now this is the part where we just make the same jokes as we did last time. Do you remember yeah, any? I gotta quickly remember what all my jokes were. Oh man, Nito Reno. More like Nito Deto. Oh, I remember this now. <laughs> I remember this guy. It is fucking way stronger than us Pokemon. Uh, it's gonna be even greater when we go over to Koga, because Koga is also way stronger than us. By a significant margin. Ah, uh, you guys missed so much. It's a shame you're never gonna see those videos now. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty good stuff. Yeah, some pretty good stuff, but, you know, you just need to do it. You know, this is a good time. I'm going to mention it now because I mentioned it at the end of the video, not realizing that people would be seven videos deep into a series before, like, um, they would hear it. But I'll say it again because it's better to hear it now. Um, eventually, me and Zen are going to go into the Savari Zone. And we have some friends, specifically the Kangaskhan and the Chansey, that we will be catching that have names and other, like, rare Pokemon. Um... That are very rare to the Safari Zone, but for Pokemon that are very common, like Nidorino and Nidoran, I felt it would be pretty fun if um, anyone who watches this video, if you wanted your name to be one of the Pokemon we caught, just leave your name down below and we will gladly name one of the Pokemon after you. I'll put it up on Twitter when this episode is released, like if you want to be in Pokemon, leave it here. But priority goes to the people who comment on YouTube. So if you hear this and you're like, I want my name up in big ass lights, I want Zen to catch me uh, Dong Master 57, then <laughs> we will. <laughs> what, what was it? Uh, Baby Master 2? Baby Master 2. Yeah, whatever, whatever your name is. Uh, don't be too crazy because this is still for Cam. <laughs> so we reserve the right to refuse any name. Yeah, if the name is really bad or very disrespectful, let's say, we will not use it. But if you're cool, and I feel like there's a bunch of uh, cool people in the comments, like, you know, Snake is out there trying to help us out with sacred cards. Eli is in every other video being like, this is awesome. And everyone else out there who comments, you guys are all great. So I feel like, hey, if you want to be up in this uh, Pokemon video, get your name up as a Pokemon. Whether it be a Rhyhorn, a Nidorino, or a Doduo, or... I was going to say Dratini, but guess what? If we're catching a Dratini, it's not being named after you. It's a friend. Yeah. Yeah, Dratini is too much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm you guys gonna be, have to earn that. It's too much. I'm going to be real with you guys. I just feel like you deserve to have not that much known that you guys are not uh, that level with us yet. Doesn't mean you can't be, but one day maybe. So yeah, leave your uh, leave a comment being like, I want to be a Pokemon, and you will be a Pokemon. Actually, don't say that. Just leave a comment and I'm like, how you'll enjoy the video. Because <laughs> otherwise, we're just going to get uh, five comments in a row that just says, I want to be a Pokemon, I want to be a Pokemon, and I want to be a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but just just talk in the video, and if we see you contributing, yeah, you'll your name will be up there. And again, I will ask on Twitter too, and so don't feel like you're left out if you're someone like me who's like, oh, I love uh, throwing up a like on a video, but I don't actually like um, commenting because I'm very shy. I respect that, and you can put something if you find me on Twitter. Just say like, hey, I'd like to be on there. Now's your chance. We won't, again, the only thing we will reject is disrespectful <laughs> names. That's about it. Yes. Oh, I love this Nido Queen. Now we can finally embrace this amazing Nido Queen art for what it is. 
Ah, it's really good. She's so happy. She is so unbelievably happy. Like, that that is the definition of a uh, queen in terms of... You understand why Nido King fights now. <laughs> it's to protect yeah. that. Yeah. Hashtag queen. Hashtag, yeah, hashtag, hashtag queen on Twitter. The Nido Queen. Uh, there's a lot of Pokemon fever going up out there. Which is funny because we're recording this right after uh, all the... I woke up to... Um, pokemon happening no i didn't wake up to pokemon happening i was in at work on fire and pokemon was happening <laughs> and that was the only thing that kept me by was looking at um the new monkey the new um the new monkey the new bunny and the new what is it a chameleon i think he's a chameleon yeah because yeah. he can go invisible that's i feel a lot of people are focusing on the fact that he is depressed and not on the fact that the motherfucker showed up like solid snake like, he showed up with, like, the kept you waiting, huh? As he popped out of the fucking, like, <laughs> invisible. Yeah, everyone everyone dunks on him for being depressed. But guess what? You're also depressed. So. It's true. He is all of us. Also, I think I can save someone from poisoning if I just, like, withdraw here. What? No? I could have swore that maybe that's a later game. No, oh, no, there we go. I don't know why this is here. But I assume it's if in case you want to change your Pokemon before Giovanni. You even? I thought so. So here's I a question. You got pulled right into the battle, but maybe not. Let's see if Toast gets healed from his poison, or if he's just going to come back with more poison. Also, just to let everyone know we caught uh, my sister Gaoi Mom, who is a uh, Lapras. Her. Don't Google that. Don't Google that. Um, Cam, don't Google that. Don't ask what that is. You'll find out eventually when you're on the internet. Um, <clears throat> but she's the Lapras. <laughs> and, of course, he is still afflicted by PSN because this generation is janky as fuck in terms of how Pokemon work. The box is not an all-healing magical device like it is in later games. Yeah, which also, that kind of is messed up because that just means they're laying in the box like, Help me! I'm being poisoned. <laughs> I'm poisoned forever! Heal me, asshole! That's also the thing Please. of, like, I think they also go in there injured, so if you don't heal them out of the Pokemon Center, and you're like, I want to check out this new Zubat, and your Zubat's like, I'm almost dead, and you're like, well, now you're super dead, because there's no, you're going to die to this uh, Geodude that I sent you against, because I'm a cruel and dumb master, and I don't understand how type advantage works, because I'm five. <laughs> Toaster has died. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He'll fight another day. He will fight another day. Won't we all just always fight another day? That's my Believe, motto. Yes. That's my creed. That's my ninja way. Um, so yeah, next thing we do is go to um, Koga. But before Koga, we need to go up and catch uh, my bro once again. In the in the you missed it. I'm gonna say it right now because it's not gonna be shown. When we did the rematch, I 100% curb stomped him. There was no, there was no doubting the fact that I caught that fool, and now I feel like that we're doing this again. He is one hundred percent not going to be caught. Yeah, he is going to be very angry. You did absolutely obliterate him. You caught him in one Pokeball throw. I caught him in one Pokeball throw. I started the match. He was uh, extremely. Um... He was caught super easy. He fell asleep super easy. I was able to psychic blast him all the way down. And now I feel like we're going to fight in there and we're going to completely, we're going to use the same strategy I used last time, but, um, uh, I don't know why I got on my bike. I have Scoo up to the school mobile. She can fly. Oh my God. I never noticed that you're on the little bike when you're on the map screen. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice touch. To Lavender Town. I just turned into a bird in front of that woman. I just completely rocked her fucking world. You think that woman was like, oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> the world is already weird enough, and now he's doing this shit. What he didn't see was that I literally got on Sku, who is a Pidgeotto who is smaller than me. So, got right on top of her and was like, I'm out of here. And she carried me off to go fight my brother. Dude, that, that's a lot of people nowadays. Yep, that is a lot of people. All right, let's see. I feel like I accidentally made a, a slam on Scoo who did not mean to do that. <laughs> Again, I'm tired. Work really fucked me over. I will never explain what my work does because I want to keep what I do at my work, but know that sometimes they decide to completely fuck me over. 
and it's in the worst way possible it's the kind of way when your work goes like uh you can do this right and it's like do i have all my resources no and it's like okay i guess i'll do it and then they go okay thanks by the way you're completely fucked over by this <laughs> also do it do it early and it's like what <laughs> i can't do this under the regular parameters and you're hobbling me and you're doing all this and it's like god working never grow up cam if you're hearing this <laughs> never grow up Stay a child forever. Become a YouTuber. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a that's a that's an unfair slam. They work hard too. It's just that's the running joke, though. Um, you want to talk a little bit about um, just uh, your depressed boy? As I look up the knuckles theme to fight. Uh, oh, Nux. you're talking about uh, Sobble, the greatest Pokemon to ever exist. Yes. Uh, DJ Sobble up on there with the the saddest the saddest hits. Yeah, so he's literally like this little chameleon man, and his face is the exact face of like shocked Pikachu, like the meme Pikachu. Yes. So good. I can't put into words how important Sobble is <laughs> to just you uh, of function. Kind. Yeah, he's uh, fantastic. I, does yeah. this little pose he's got this little pose going on and it literally looks like uh he's telling you to suck his dick it's perfect he's doing the dx suck it he is he's doing the dx suck it it's so good it is very good i like it when the um the starter looks very nice uh i really also am interested in what direction he'll go and whether or not he will get more sad or more joyful Oh, so he'll either, like, recover from his depression or he'll be extremely depressed? Yes. Exactly. It's as, like, the people were making the joke of, um, the manic depression. So he'll have his ups and he'll have his downs, and it depends on when you put him into play. <laughs> <laughs> Snarlax woke up. It attacked in a grumpy rage, just like my brother. Crass classic brother! Alright, let me put down this music. The Pokemon music, the classic Pokemon music that you have come accustomed to. And let me put on the Knuckles theme. One of the finest songs in gaming history, in my opinion. Yes, 100% agree. And I think I've also said that I said this to Rick. Oh, this is the bad, bad matchup. Because you're oh, yeah, just... I, I have your brother's blood on my hands already. Maybe you should switch. Okay, so here's the thing. He's going to take down Sku. And I will be able to come in <laughs> completely free. Because, uh... The, the strategy is is to uh, harden after I put him to sleep. And that way I can... Thank you, Sku. She returns to do her classic move, which is dying for me. <laughs> she does that a lot lately. One Sacrificing of... herself so that you can come in with your frail butterfly ass. First of all, how dare you say I am frail? You know for a fact that I am the strongest fucking butterfree in the world. <laughs> At level 31, you're the strongest Butterfree there's ever been. You guys did not see it again. Unfortunately, that you did not see it, but I totally took down a level 50 Venomoth all by myself. I don't know there about was, all by yourself. There was no assistance. Like, the chips were down, and I fucking stood up to the plate and knocked it out. Nux is using Amnesia, which is bad, because that means that he has more defense against me. Right. No. That's, his, that's only, um... Uh, his attack, I think. And that's the way Amnesia works, because right. you said the defense isn't a thing here. Oh, no. So special attack and special defense don't exist. It's one stat called special. Okay. So if your special goes up, both your offense and defense go up. Oh, that's shitty. That's very unfortunate. He did not do this the first time we played. Didn't matter. I crit him. Oh, his special Suck fell. It. So that's good. Suck it! Suck it, Snorlax. Please don't die from a crit from this. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Apparently he's doing the same tactics as me. <laughs> he learned. He learned from the last encounter. This is a, an alternate timeline B. The alternate timeline A where I completely won has been completely null and voided. Oh, come on. Yeah, psychic. Oh, this sucks. Okay, his special fell though. Oh, I forgot he greatly rose it. This sucks. Why is Thorlax so much better than me? He learned from his previous mistakes. But look at me, though. I'm completely debuffing him. I'm debuffing him so fucking slow, though. Okay, I just realized that I need to start actually trying to catch him, because if I crit, I'm gonna kill him. Yes. 
Okay. Let's do this shit. Ultra Ball, first chance, go. I need to get my brother. Damn it, really? Ah, oh, I literally... Mm, we're gonna always be talking about that alternate timeline and how everything went so smoothly. <laughs> no! Ah, <laughs> oh, smooth. Save the one time it goes well. God damn it. I hate the fact that it was so smooth. I feel like that was God's trick. That was God completely setting me up to experience this. All right, let's do it. Ultra Ball. This is the ultimate battle. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? So here's something I'm never 100% sure of, but are Pokemon who are um, buffed harder to catch? I don't think so. Because it sure as fuck feels that way. I think you just got extremely lucky last time. Oh, damn it. This is the most... I'm just trying my best trying to keep this boy off. We have plenty of balls. The problem is that eventually he's going to use rest. Oh, damn it. Stop waking up, you asshole. <laughs> Stay the fuck asleep. It's Doritos time. So that's the time that it means you need to sleep. Shout out to my brother and sister who are only the only ones that will get that reference. <laughs> uh, so because of the the room we stay in has all the food because of our living arrangement, if I want to eat at the middle of the night, I have to go to into the room while they're sleeping uh, and get food. And so it, they've been calling it Doritos time because I always wake them up. Also, we caught Snorlax because it was fucking Doritos time. Eat that shit. <laughs> It's Dorito O'Clock. Oh. This is a good family moment. Yeah, it is. S Snorlax, sleeping. We'll eat anything, even if food happens to be a little moldy. Never gets an upset stomach. Do you want a nickname? Yeah. I'm going to keep the Knuckles theme rolling, I guess, until the end of the episode at this point, because uh, it's been Fair. going on a very long time. <laughs> Nuxlax. So yeah, now all my family is caught except for... Um, I promised my brother that we would find our cats, so we're gonna go looking for our cats at some point. And if you know Lucifer and Luma, you know exactly there's only one other Pokemon it can be that can be two cats at once. It, that could be three cats because it's also Luma. So, shout outs if you guessed that Pokemon. Oh, all right. That was slightly tougher than expected, but at least um, this recording is perfectly fine. There's also the small chance that the knuckle steam is way too fucking loud. <laughs> and nobody well, can hear anything, but hey, that's better we'll than only being... Out. Find out as we continue to do our best. Join us next time on another episode of Pokemon.